That's an odd way to make yourself at home. How long have you been up? Sleep is for pussies. Where's the rest of my coke? Okay, first of all, how would I know? Second, why would it be in my underwear drawer? And finally, and this is key, sleep is very much not for pussies. It's super important, actually. And I like to sync my Aryan pattern to a certain circadian rhythm. Hey! Focus, dickhead. I had two bags last night, okay? I did one, and then I put the other one in here to keep your dipshit roommate from doing any of it. Yeah, I don't have a roommate, so if- Yes! You do. What do you call that fat, drunk idiot in your living room last night? I went to the bathroom and he was smoking pot out of a Fresca can and blowing the smoke into a toilet paper roll stuffed with a fucking fabric softener. A do doo doo. What the fuck are you babbling about? A do doo doo. Like, like you know how when you play a trumpet it makes a noise? Do doo doo. Same thing when you blow smoke through a toilet paper roll. It, it looks like you're playing a trumpet. Do doo doo. Where? is my coke, asshole. Oh my God, that sounded just like Al Pacino and Glengarry Glenn Ross. What are you gonna do about it, asshole? Right, fat drunk idiot. It's not my roommate, that's just Goldberg. You rang. <gasps> Where the fuck did you come from? Oh, I've been waiting out here for like the past 10 minutes waiting for one of you to say my name so I can feel juice up in this bitch. Nice, man. Thank you. <sighs> is that my underwear? Yeah, yes, um, there was an incident last night. I'd really rather not discuss it in mixed company, but if you need to use the bathroom, I suggest the gas station down the street. Did you get them out of this dresser? Huh? The underwear, Captain Jelly Belly. Did you get them out of Jack's dresser? Of course I did. What, do you think I pulled them out of the hamper? I'm not an animal. You took my Coke. Where is it? I want my Coke, you 50 pounds of sausage in a one pound Speedo. Where is my Coke, asshole? Glenn Gary Glenn Ross? I know, right? Okay, okay, uh, do uh, who told you you could work with men? Get them to sign on the line that is dotted. Fuck you, that's my name. You make a close this whole place stinks with your thoughts, thoughts for a week. week. Oh, that Coke, right. I flushed it. That stuff is terrible for you, so that's why I stick strictly to medical marijuana. She was like a feral badger protecting her babies. Yeah. Well, I need coffee. I'm still recovering from last night's idiocy, actually. Yeah. Adult beverages are on Jack. I've got this poor unfortunate strength, but why am I supporting your addiction? Because we are the ones that are forced to deal with the aftermath of what she did to him. I mean, this right here is like a black pit of despair, and honestly, I'm feeling a little PTSD right now. Really? She was like a... Feral Badger. Well, it's not just the returning veterans or the battered ass clowns that suffer, Jacko. It's the friends, the family, the assorted relatives that have to deal with the pain, the trauma. You know, come to think of it, we're actually more on the front lines than the victims. Even more so, actually. I mean, we are the ones that rock them to sleep. We are the ones that dry their tears, and we are the ones that change the soil bed sheets. Wait, wait, are we talking PTSD or incontinence? Well, I don't think a few piddling drinks are too much to ask for, especially since we've been forced to eyeball this hideous goblin all night long. She was like a feral badger. Ridiculous. Yeah, I'll take a beer. None of that fancy Euro IPA bullshit. Whiskey for me. Mm. Actually make it a double. Oh, a double, huh? My wounds are all internal. Those both sound nice. I'll have one of each and crispy chicken fingers to wash it all down. Thank you. Thank you. Great call. Oh, hey. Don't forget the wasabi mayo. Ooh. I don't know what they put in that stuff, but you try to take it away from me and I'll claw your eyes out faster than one of Jack's tweaker beauties on day three of a bath salts bender. I put it in my cereal. Yeah. Mm. What's up, Dad, gentlemen? You playing some pool or what? No pool for me, thanks. I, um, I don't swim. Ladies. Scott. Sorry, Scott, so more of a darts man myself. I'm in. 
Let me grab some change. Oh, no, no, don't worry about it. I got it. Let's play. I gotta be out of here in a half hour anyway. Oh, what are you working on? Well, I just happened to be painting a giant American flag on the side of the blue window. Didn't you just paint a giant American flag on the side of some uh, restaurant in Travis? Yes, yes, and one on the side of Genzano's and Tom. Mingia, by the time I'm done, Old Glory's gonna be on the side of every bar, pizzeria, and townhouse in Staten Island. At this point, do you use actual paint or do you just ejaculate red, white, and blue all over the side of the buildings like a uh, uh, patriotic Peter North? <laughs> <laughs> Wax and Pollock over here. <laughs> Dichtenstein. Claude Bonet. Vincent Van Blow. All right, all right there, Pat no, no, Rex. No, 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 wait. Norman Cockwell. Mm. Ah, you. Nice. Just, just, oh, hey, yeah, show some cute. respect. Okay, that flag represents everything that's great about this country. Honor, bravery. All you can eat buffets. Inbreeding. My Little Pony assault weapons. The Tea Party. Says Mary and Joseph. You know, they ought to just make military service mandatory like they do in Israel. Then maybe you shitheads would understand what it means to sacrifice yourself for something that's bigger than all of us. So when you say the Pledge of Allegiance, you you <laughs> feel <laughs> you. <laughs> you want to tell him? Uh, well, this is going to be good. What is it? Come on, I want it. I'm nuts. No big deal. Uh, I don't say the Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> you... I'm sorry, what? What do you mean I don't recite the Pledge of Allegiance? Okay, so technically I said I don't say the Pledge of Allegiance, but that's just putting it. Who are you not to say the Pledge? Oh boy. What kind of commie liberal? Aren't you a teacher? Jeez. The kids still say it every day, don't you know? Yeah, every day at first period, like clockwork. So what the fuck do you do? Just stand there with your dork in your hand? Or I put them by my side, but you know, I could grab my junk in front of a bunch of 12 year olds if that's your thing. Look, you got the balls to indoctrinate those fresh, innocent young minds with your, your, your move on.org, America hating, Occupy hey, Wall Street you loving. Know? That our buddy Jack here was born in a Kenyan mosque run by gay welfare recipients who use their EBT cards to buy French wines, mm. NPR memberships, yes. and butt plugs with Ronald Reagan's face on them. <laughs> True story. Laugh it up here, Mary. But shit like this is why this country is heading straight for the crapper. Saying the Pledge of Allegiance is an American tradition, like the 4th of July, Thanksgiving, apple pie. I'll make you a deal, Aunt B. If you promise to give me a turkey leg and shoot off fireworks every time I say the pledge, I'll dress up like Betsy Ross, tuck my nads, and recite that thing in a falsetto 10 times a day. It's been around forever and you're just looking to bust balls, okay? Just keep it up. We'll all be singing a la cucaracha and fucking eating chalupas for Christmas. I could totally hear us some Taco Bell. Uh, crispy chicken fingers? Yeah, if you're gonna bust some balls, can you bust them on the table, please? Yeah, let's see now, it. Now that's a good idea. Okay. Let's see it. Look. I don't care if it's being grandfathered in. I don't say the Pledge of Allegiance because I don't have to pledge my allegiance to anybody, let alone a piece of cloth. I'm the ultimate patriot, Scott. I have a job, I pay my taxes, and I only buy things made in China so as not to anger our oriental overlords. When they anger so easily. I tie the recommended 3%. 10%, Shlomo. 10? Yeah. Damn. Is that gross or net? Oh, come on. Anyway. I do so much patriotic shit on the DL, I can easily skate by on the whole, swearing to be a good American bullshit. Nah, look, whatever. I gotta be out of here in 10 minutes. When I win this game, you gotta dress up in an outfit of my choosing, singing America the Beautiful in front of your entire school. I want those impressionable little minds to see and hear their freedom-hating, whack-job teacher look and sound like a proper American. Not some, some 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 mainstream media hippie lapdog. You do know that I don't uh, run the school, right? I can't just boing, magically make everybody gather in the auditorium for my Star Search coming out party. Don't worry, I know people. I need that kind of power. Okay, and if I win? You ain't winning, dude. He's right, man. Bro, you're good, but Scott knows this table. Forget playing on it. He's passed out on it. He's drooled on it. He's made hot monkey love on it. If you were to run a crime scene blue light over the top of this felt, the entire thing would glow with the entirety of this man's liquid DNA. If this was an old monster movie, all you'd need is a couple of electrodes and a lightning storm, and that table would literally get up, go to the bar, order himself a scotch, walk out that door, and start painting crude American flags on the sides of other pool tables all over the island. This is his table, Jack. He knows every angle, he knows every nook, and he knows every cranny. Every buttery, delicious nook and cranny. Right, 
Now I want an English muffin. Seriously, you guys need to stop with the food analogies or get in the kitchen and get me some goddamn crispy chicken fingers. It's a bad bet, man. No, it's not, because Jack's gonna win. And when he does, Scott is gonna get on his knees in front of my man here, okay, pull right. out his flag, right. Right. give let's, a salute. Let's go get you those chicken fingers, huh? As I was saying, when I win, my Star Spangled Amigo, you will give an impassioned reading of the Communist Manifesto during the black tie party on Saturday, wearing a poncho and a sombrero. Yeah, yeah, just rack them. I don't know, man. I've been practicing a lot lately. Every nook and every cranny. I'll be in touch. So Jack's not getting a Hummer? Put the coffee down. Coffee's for closers. Your friend you brought home last night? She took my Drano, she took my matches, she took your EpiPen, she took my batteries, she put it in a pot and then she threw the wasabi mayo on. I'm pretty sure she's making meth. It smells like meth, she looks like meth. I know that's your type. Can, 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 can. Fuck.